Average Joe blog here. And in case you're wondering, those were my kids. They just wanted to kind of get involved in the intro of this video. Anyways, uh, I was coming back from the gym today and I thought about iTunes Match. I know it just came out yesterday and I hadn't done a video on it. So I wanted to see if we could spend some time today to talk about what it does, how it works on your iOS devices and on your Mac and how it all just kind of syncs together. It's pretty cool. So join me today. We'll talk about iTunes Match. Here we go. All right, guys, well, here we go. First thing I want to talk about is your columns. So you can add different columns. If some of you guys know this already, if you right click, there's all these little categories that you can add to your columns. The ones that automatically come in default, once you uh, update your iTunes, whether it's a PC or a Mac, is iCloud Download and iCloud Status. iCloud Status is basically a verbal approach of, of saying what does what these little signs mean. And this is basically iCloud, da iCloud Download. So they're essentially the same thing. As you can see on this album right here, this uh, this song was matched, and this song has a problem. Now I'll tell you off the bat, the one the, the little cloud right here with the exclamation mark, that error message, is because my song isn't on my hard drive anymore. So I need to find that song. And you're going to see a lot of errors on mine because I'm still cleaning my iTunes. I've kind of been taking things out, putting things back in. But there's also... Uh, another sign right here to download and it hadn't downloaded yet so I'm downloading it right now uh, it's the previous song that I've purchased so iTunes cloud I mean iTunes match is gonna grab all of your music that's on your iTunes and try to fix it for you and put it on the cloud so what match means is that they they're gonna take the the file from the cloud which is 256 I think rather than 128 kilobytes and uh, which is the standard that normal people have when you insert a CD and you extract it and put it on your iTunes. So that's a good benefit. You know, you get a you get a higher quality song, same song that you had, and you can see it across all of your devices, which is so simple. You know, if you have about, like me, I have 8,000 songs. It's going to take about an hour to do all these. Um, it doesn't really take that long. So you'll see the different um, statuses. I'm going to scroll up here, scroll up here a little bit. All of these right here have been matched. These have been purchased. This little sign right here, let me scroll up here. There's one right here. It says it's a duplicate. You can delete the duplicate and move it from your trash, or you can just keep it. So it's a good way to clean your uh, iTunes also. And um, there's another way too. If you have another computer, let's look at that real quick, all right? Uh, on the left-hand column, I don't have it anymore, but it should come out. Uh, uh, right underneath, I think, the store. It's going to say iTunes Match. Um, when you click on that, you're going to type in your username and password. And all of a sudden, this little cloud right here is going to have these little hash lines. And what it, what it means is it's grabbing all of your information from your original uh, cloud, not the original cloud, but from the cloud itself. And it's dropping it down to your Mac, wherever it's at. And that usually takes about, because see, once it's uploaded to the cloud, it's faster. It usually takes about 10, 15 minutes or less. And you can actually hear the music. So I'm going to hear this song right here. So it'll stream it, which is cool. If you don't want to download it to this device, you don't have to. So it'll stream it and you can hear it. Or if you choose to download it, just click it and download it. No password, no nothing, because it already knows that you're part of the cloud. So... <laughs> this is so cool, man. You can grab any song that's on your library, library and, and go ahead and, and listen to it. Um, let me download this one right here, and I'm going to start playing it. Well, it's still downloading, so that circle means it's, it's, it's going to start downloading. Once it's done, it's on my library, library here. Um, I believe that you can delete it. Are you sure you want to select uh, delete the selected items from your library? Click Delete. And then if you click also delete from the cloud, then it's going to take it away. You don't want to do that. So I'm going to delete the item, right? I'm going to move it to the trash. And guess what? That little arrow come, uh, pops back. So it's still available. It's just not on your hard drive anymore. And you're going to see this pattern on your iPod and on your iPad and all of your iOS devices. So I'm going to show this on an iPad because it's a bigger screen. But it's going to replicate on your iTouch or, I, or your iPhone. So just follow me on this. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to settings, okay, and um, if this is the first time setting up iCloud, you're going to go on your music tab, 
on the top right, you're going to see iTunes Match. You can turn it. It's going to be off. The minute that you turn it on, it's going to... Right now, it's going to ask me if, if I want to replace the music or enable it. But originally, for the first time, it's going to ask you for your iTunes ID and password. Once you do that, then you're able to just go back and forth. Now, this button right underneath, it's uh, Show All Music. If you leave it off and you go to your music... You're only going to see the music that's inside of your iPad. So anything that's on the actual hard drive of the iPad, you're able to see. You're able to see it. But so let's check it out here. Let's go to music. I'm going to tap on this, and voila! Here you go. Here's all your artists. And again, my album art isn't uploaded because I barely started doing it. But I'm talking about in the last hour, guys. I mean, this stuff is really, really fast. Um, but. If you see all of them with the little cloud sign on the left, on the bottom left, these are all the songs that are available for you to just to stream or to download directly to your device. So as you guys can see, my albums are starting to appear, my album covers. So I'm going to tap on this and I'm going to just, uh, there's two ways of doing it. Some people are not explaining this, but you can tap on it and actually stream it. So it takes, there's a five, like a five second lag, depends on your internet speed. But you know you can stream it if you don't want to if you don't want to put it on your device. Just tap on it and there it goes. Now, if you don't have Wi-Fi and if you're on 3G, it's obviously going to use your internet. But I'm sure it's not as bad, you know, as we think. It's just like Pandora. So um, you can do that or like this this song right here. I'm going to go ahead and tap on it and I'm going to download it. So it's going to start. This little dial is going to turn around. There it goes. And it's going to start downloading it. So I did the same thing to the top one. Now they're both on the device. If you don't want it on the device, you don't have to have it. So let's say you're tired of this song being on your iPad. Just delete it. The bottom, same thing for the bottom one. Let me see. Let me do it again. And let me see. I wasn't capturing it right. Delete the bottom. And you'll notice that the, the little iCloud sign will come back on. All that means is it's back in the cloud. So, I mean, how convenient is that? Either you can have it on your iPad or if you don't. So you can create a playlist from your device now and never need to go back to your iTunes, which is pretty, pretty cool. All right, guys. Well, this pretty much sums up my video on iTunes Match. I hope you guys liked it. I'm really excited, actually. I think uh, getting rid of that iPod Classic, getting rid of hard drives, and using the cloud for pretty much anything that's going to be the key, you know, let the companies like Apple, companies like um, Amazon, companies like Google really just kind of take over this server stuff, you know. We're just normal people. We want to make sure these devices work. So I think this is a pretty good stepping stone, I guess, I guess you can say, you know, first step for this cloud service. I'm sure that later on you're going to be able to stream your videos. Uh, your movies that you have on iTunes. Right now it really only works for music videos and it only works for for music. So, but it's neat. I mean, I tried it. I was driving around, popped in uh, popped in my iPod and well, my phone and just streamed it and it's really cool. So, if you guys have any questions, leave a comment. Like my video, guys, please. The more you like it, the more I'll get enthused on this. I want to do a free giveaway soon. As soon as I hit about 1,500 uh, subscribers, so subscribe to my video feed. I'm telling you, you're not going to regret it. I'm going to try to give you guys as much information. And um, I, I like giving stuff away. So join me, all right, guys? Peace. Have a great night, and we'll talk to you guys later.